hundred miles high and when he's pushing me on a swing. He's the one that you can count on, he's the one who saves the day. Some people think he's in disguise as a regular guy, but to me it's just the other way. My dad is Galaxy Man, I'm sure you've heard the name. <laughs> All right, so we're here celebrating the debut of Galaxy Man. So tell us all about the inspiration. What happened to uh, what's the what happened to inspire Galaxy Man? Well, um, I actually met uh, okay the art class we've been running for a number of years now had a contest to create a mascot. We took that mascot and. Um, a gentleman named Roberto Ramos actually illustrated this little piece here and from that I realized I had to rename the character and when I renamed him Galaxy Man all of a sudden he's an astronomer and uh, the whole story just started to unfold so I contacted my friends and I said hey Alan that's us. that's 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 Alan <laughs> hello and, Alan and I said Alan can you help me design the costume and Patrick uh, here's the plot of the book can you go ahead and can you listen to the voices in your head and put them on paper? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah, he's, he's real good with the voices. Cool. cool. And uh, so that's how it came about. So how, how long, uh, cause I know Galaxy Man has been around for a little while, right? I mean, uh, about five years ago, we did a preview at the Hudgens Center for the Arts. Okay. And then from there, uh, we've been working on three issues that are complete now. And now that those are complete, we're going to go ahead and start releasing them this year. And it's, it, you know, we get together every Monday, we have fun, and uh, that's, that's how we're, we've gotten Wait, here. Wait, just fun in comic books? Yeah, fun. That's madness. Let me see your costume here. This is very cool. What's your name, I ask? Andrea. Okay, and you are uh, portraying the character in the comic? I'm Cosmic Girl. Ah, so what are the powers of Cosmic Girl? Well, I don't really know yet. <laughs> Okay. Save the day. Ah, alrighty, that's important. Saving the day. Thank you so much. Original designs and the different professional artists that we had that did it. Okay. Uh, okay. Here is uh, Bill Gollier from Archie Comics. Uh, cool. Michael Turner. Um, all these different original sketches were a hobby of mine. Jeff Smith. The character's name at the time was called uh, Kid Quest, which I hated the name. It was uh, <laughs> tied in with the name of the store, Galactic Quest. Okay. So I switched Galactic to Galaxy, turned him into Galaxy Man, and it just totally worked from there. Um, Very Jason cool. Pearson. So all these different professional artists drew him until... Um, Did they all come through the store at one point or something? Um, no, actually I meet a lot of them at conventions, but a lot of them do come into the store. Uh, okay. Nathan Massingill uh, has been coming in quite a bit recently. These are the original pencils for the book, and actually, as you can see, we the originals were quite rough. Mm -hmm. And so, so who do you say your target audience is for your comics? Uh, essentially, we're going for parents to be able to read to their kids. Oh wow! So we want to make sure that there's something there for the parents, but at the same time, we want to make sure that the kids uh, aren't. We're not. We're not talking to Patrick. You can actually feel this one. Yeah. Well, I mean, you know, there's plenty of comic books out there now, but there's not, you know, plenty of them that are for families. You know, it's kind of a good thing for a child to sit down with their parent, actually read something, and that's what Galaxy Man is offering. Hopefully, you know, is for them to sit down, read about. It. They can talk about it. It's got real life issues, you know, mixed with the element of fantasy. Galaxy Man. He's a husband. He's a father. He's a hero. Uh, right now he's a single dad because, you know, he's lost his wife who's an astronaut out in space, so he's raising his daughter on his own right now. And at the same time, he's dealing with the fact that he's become this hero uh, rather reluctantly at that. And on top of all that, he knows or he believes his wife is still out there somewhere, and he just wants to find her again. That's nice. This already looks like a Saturday morning cartoon, yeah? Yeah, it definitely, that's what uh, we're reaching for there. But definitely Carl, he's one of my favorite characters. Mm -hmm. uh, Kyle and I were sitting there one day and I said, you know, Kyle, we really need us one of those big bug-eyed monsters from the old science fiction with lots of tentacles and so on and so forth. And Kyle came up with this character and I was like, oh, this is awesome. 
But then Alan took it, and he gave it just so much more character. I mean, you look, he's got like the Jaws-like head, you know, and the many, many teeth, and more eyeballs than you can count, which his eyes are actually telescopic. It's really cool. He can spy on worlds from all over the place. Yeah, Superman, like, is one of those things where I don't, you don't necessarily have to like Superman, but you got to respect Superman. You gotta respect his place in everything. I mean, like, there wouldn't be a Wolverine if there wasn't a Superman. There wouldn't be a Batman or a Punisher or really any comic book character today if there wasn't a Superman. Superman is where it all started. And, you know, a hundred years from now, if everybody forgets about every other superhero character, Superman will be remembered in the same way we think about Robin Hood and King Arthur and Hercules. So. They're like they're like American. They're the American mythology. Yes. Yep. They're they're a blend of of every kind of creative thing that you could have going. I mean, and when it comes to the movies, you've got all the uh, you know you've got the costume design, you've got writing, you've got the artistic things like painting and color. It's like all a blend. Like America is the melting pot, and then you know comic books were a melting pot too of a lot of other things. Give, give your, uh, your fans a shout out. How can they uh, get to your website? What's the address? Radiocult.com. Woohoo! There we go. I was like, which camera do okay. we look at? Go ahead and give it another shot. Awesome. Stare straight at me. I'm sure it'll catch you in some way. Hi. <laughs> oh. uh, I'm taking some awesome pictures. <laughs> and I don't even know how the hell it's happening. <laughs> <laughs> yeah! That is kind of cool there. A little figurine. Does it does the head bobble or? Uh, it's actually kind of designed off like a, a mighty mug. A so mighty mug. See, I don't even think his head turns. Oh, just barely. Okay. There now he can look a little bit to the side there. <laughs> look, there's trouble over there instead of just straight ahead. That is too cool. I like that. <laughs> 